that! Stop! <laughs> hey guys, this is the next in a planned series of videos going over networked two-player arcade racers. Today, we're going to be looking at Mario Kart DX for Techno Parrot. This is one of my go-to racers because it supports custom resolutions like OutRun 2, so it looks equally good on my racing cabinet as well as my ultra-wide desktop monitor. This is one of the easier games to get working on Network 2 Player, and uh, I took some of the feedback that was given on my last video going over OutRun 2, and I want to go in a little more detail about actually networking your two computers. The first thing you need to do is get into your router. Now every router is going to look a little different and it's going to have a slightly different looking interface or how to get into it. My particular router is actually controlled by an app, so I'm going to show you what changes I made on mine. Others you'd get to via a web page uh, that you can browse to on your local network, um, but just know that the general gist of it is going to be mostly the same once you get into these interfaces. So once you get into your router, you want to go ahead and into its settings and you want to look at its network settings for DHCP or NAT. And that's where you want to find your local IP address. And you want to change it to a 192.168.1.0 subnet. Now, in my last video talking about networking OutRun 2, I'd advise that you set your local network to 192.168.0. And that will still work. However, going forward, I found that there are far more games that actually will only work on the 192.168.1 subnet. So I recommend that's what you use. It'll also work for OutRun 2 and Mario Kart. So when you're setting up your local network, just make sure you're using 192.168.1.x. And that way you're actually gonna have a lot easier time going forward with other networked racers. Now, as for the DHCP starting and ending uh, address range, make it slightly smaller. I start at dot, uh, 20 and then I go all the way up to dot .254. And uh, that way we have some IPs that are outside of the DHCP scope that we can specify for our network racers. Next, you want to right click on the network icon in your system tray, go to network settings, then click adapter options, then right click on your Ethernet or Wi-Fi properties, depending on what you're using. Then click on your TCP IPv4 and go to properties. Next, put a bullet and use the following IP address and enter the IP address 192.168.1.0 something. This is uh, where you want to put in the last bit is an address outside of the lease range that you set up on your router. So my lease range started with dot 20, so I'm choosing dot 15 for this computer. That way I know that it's always going to have this address and it's not going to be randomly signed another address at some point in the future. For subnet mask you want to put in 255.255.255.0 and for default gateway you'll put in your new routers IP address of 192.168.1.1. When you specify the IP address, you'll also need to specify your DNS servers. For the preferred DNS, also put in your default gateway. And for your alternate or secondary DNS, I just put in Google's uh, public DNS servers. Now follow the same procedure on your other computer by specifying an IP address outside of your DHCP lease range. So for my other computer, I've specified 192.168.1.11. And that way, these IPs are always going to be the same and I can hard code them into TechnoParrot and my other emulators for networking. Now you can open TechnoParrot, highlight Mario Kart, and go to game settings. All you need to put in here is the network gateway, server address, server port, AM auth port, and your player ID. Now the network gateway is just the IP address of your router. So in the, this case, it's 192.168.1.1. Your server address, server port, and AM auth port should already be pre-populated, but if they're not, you can go ahead and use the values that you see here. And then down at the bottom is your network player ID. This is where you want to set one for one player and two for your two player cab. This is the setup for my second player, so I have network player ID two. This is so much easier than going into the actual test menu and finding the game network ID settings and setting them in there. And you're ready to launch the game. When you launch the game at the same time on both cabinets, you're going to see connecting, and then you're actually going to see two players in lobby indicated on the screen. Once you start your game and you go to character select, go ahead and choose whatever racer you want and you have your second player do the same thing. You'll then be at a screen where you can choose to race each other or just have individual one player races. This means that you don't have to have any weird configuration or double copies of the emulator to uh, go between one and two player games. 
And that's it, you should be good to go now with one player or two player Mario Kart DX and Techno Parrot. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comments below. And uh, if you want to see some other racers coming up, I've got a long list of videos that I'm putting together for other Techno Parrot racers, as well as racers for other emulators like Model 2 and Main. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll catch you all in the next video.